Hey, good afternoon. Colin Kimball here with Alderman Chevrolet GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. We appreciate your interest in this beautiful SUV. Very excited to show you this thing today. Very beautiful vehicle we have in our hands. This is our 2024 GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. Now that comes with a ton of cool things here. We will go into depth about. Uh, right off the bat though, this is that 5.3 liter V8 engine married to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Very smooth delivery of a lot of power with that 10 speed. Uh, and then with that combination, you're gonna get a whopping 355 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque, which is amazing performance here for a vehicle this size. This one here is finished off in a beautiful onyx black. If we get up close, you can see it's absolutely filthy. Definitely could use a good wash, but we take a good step back and all that dirt and grime kind of blends right into that beautiful black color. That's the great thing about these darker metallic colors here in the North Country. They hide the dirt and grime very, very well. We got our body color painted mirror caps with those built-in blinker indicators. These are power retractable steps here. When we open the door, it'll go ahead and uh, drop those uh, steps. Right down here, you have your 20 inch, uh, 22 inch, sorry, uh, two-tone wheels here. Very beautiful look to that. Around to the front fascia here, beautiful daytime running LED lights right here. It does flash a little bit on camera, but it does look like a nice solid white in person here. Inside of there, you have your projector style LED headlamps. Beautiful look with that combination. Right down here is your fog lamps. These little circles are gonna be your parking assistance, and we will go over how that works. Vader chrome grill here, which is a uh, Denali Ultimate specific color. You got your blacked out GMC logo up front. Now you do have a passive key entry system in all four doors with just the key in your pocket, you can lock and unlock the vehicle, which is great if you wanna keep the key in your bag, a pocket, purse, whatever it may be. Beautiful interior here topographical uh, upholstery in here, Bose premium sound system. And we will go over all those features, but first I wanna give you a good feel for room in the back. Now I'm about six foot two, definitely on the taller side, and I have more than enough room here, even in these captain's chairs to uh, uh, kind of kick my legs out, sit back, I'm comfortable. Not limited for room at all back here. You got your kangaroo pockets in both seats here, not something they put in every vehicle. Then you have an 18 inch display on both seats here, which you can control from up there. Right down here, you have two HDMI ports, you have uh, two type C chargers, and then you have a 120 volt right down there. Uh, you can get the gaming system going back here. You got your HVAC vent controls back here. You got your side-by-side -side cup holders. The kids can't get the drinks confused. Beautiful upholstery on here. You got the white tubing. Beautiful leather seats. You have a third row back there. There are some power ports. And we have our 12-way power driver seat adjustments with your uh, massaging seats, which is very, very cool. Um, you have an eight speaker Bose premium sound system. Beautiful look to that as well. On the door here, you have your electronic mirror and window adjustments. These are power folding. So a press of the button, that's gonna go ahead and fold in. They are heated, so when you turn on your heated seats, or uh, your heated rear view, uh, that's gonna go ahead and melt the snow off of there, and then you do have your blind zone alerts. You do have your memory seat settings, one and two right there. Maybe you or a significant other can have your own. Uh, and then this is porous wood right here, real wood accents. Right here, a bunch of cool things. You have your toggling parking brake button, 360 surround view, great if you want to uh, pull into a tight spot at the grocery store or something like that. Um, traction control off button, you'll hold that for six seconds. That'll go ahead and trans or, uh, cancel the uh, stability track. Um, parking assistant right here, so that's gonna beep at you if it senses you pulling or backing into any objects. Hill descent control, you'll tap that and then you'll use your plus and minus arrows right there to control your speed. Um, kind of like a cruise control for going down a steep hill. Here's another one of your parking assistant buttons. That's your auto parking assist. Um, auto stop and start, that'll turn you off when you come to a red light and it'll turn you back on when you come, uh, or when you take your foot off the brake. Lane keep assist with lane departure warning. That'll do those little minor adjustments for you, keeping between the white lines. And you do have an eight inch colored heads up display. Uh, now you can't see it the best on camera here. You can see a little faint zero over there. Um, the left button right here is gonna control your position of the heads up display. Right in the middle, that's gonna control the template, what you wanna look at. There's a couple different templates. Um, then you have your brightness controls for the heads up display on the right. 
This does come with an auto track transfer case, so you'll tap that button and it'll sense what engine control you need to be put in, but you do still have your four high, four low, and two high. Uh, trailering mode right here, which is going to reduce your gear shifting. When it knows there's a big trailer back there, it's not gonna shift up and down as many times. And then you do have your adjustable ride height button right here, which is gonna change the, um, the height you're riding at. Here's your display bright, uh, brightness buttons. Here's your headlight controls. You're on the auto setting right now, so that's gonna turn it off and on based on your daytime conditions. And then you do have an integrated trailer brake right here, the brake up top, and then your gain adjustments right below that. Uh, power telescoping wheel right here. You use these buttons to move your steering wheel around in and out, up and down. You do have auto high beam assist, so that's called Intelli beam at speeds over 25 miles an hour. That's gonna turn off and on your high beams based on your traffic conditions. This does come with Super Cruise, which is a uh, autopilot system. This is gonna flash green when it, you're ready to go. Um, you'll use this button right there while your cruise control is on, and it is a full autopilot system. You do have auto lane change, um, so it will switch lanes for you if someone is in front of you. This is a little LiDAR camera right there that'll track your eyes. On the left side here is your adaptive cruise control settings. You have your forward collision alert right there, super cruise button. Uh, on the right side is your hands-free audio and phone call settings. You're gonna control your 12.3 inch driver infotainment screen right here. Right around here, beautiful fully touchscreen radio entertainment screen. This is your electronic precision shifter right here. Um, now what a lot of people get misconstrued about this is that you might be able to drop something on reverse while you're in drive, um, but everything's gonna be a new pull tab. This does come with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Every camera angle you can imagine here. Um, you do have Google Assistant, so for the first time ever, you have in-vehicle controls. I can say things like, hey Google, change the temperature to 65. Okay, changing the temperature to 65 degrees. So pretty cool if you want to be fully hands-free while driving here. Worked everywhere. Uh, push the start engine button right there, and then you have your dual zone climate control. You each get your own temperature. Um, these seats are heated and ventilated. Um, three different cooling options, three different heating options. Um, fan speed right in the middle here, and then location settings right around that. This is a heated steering wheel right here, beautiful stitching on there. Um, then you'll turn that on right there. You do have your rear climate controls right here. You can control your rear media right through that little button right there. Um, this is a wireless charging pad at the bottom right there, but you do still have your Type-C, USB, and 12-volt car port. Side-by-side uh, -side cup holders, and then a beautiful little uh, um, wood trim right here that'll f uh, flip over and fold onto the uh, cup holders. Uh, beautiful center console right here. Uh, rubber mats in all the bottom to keep everything protected. This does slide forward here. You have some extra storage right here, um, and then you can use these arrows right up top to uh, move this beautiful sunroof that is a dual scape panoramic sunroof um, you do have your surround sound in the headrest right there beautiful upholstery up here and these are massaging seats so there is a couple different settings here you can use very helpful on the long car rides we'll hop around to the back and we do have capless fuel fill in this. You don't have to get your hands dirty at the gas station. You don't have the caps swinging around scratching up this beautiful paint. Deep tinted rear windows. Quad outlet uh, chrome tip exhaust. This is a power lift gate from back here. So just a press of a button that's gonna go ahead and open it up. There's some trailering equipment in that box right there. You lift this up, you have a little bit more storage, maybe some beach or fishing supplies. Um, back here you have a 120 volt and then you have your buttons to drop these seats. And then you can lift them back up. That seat's a little too far back to drop the seat all the way down. Um, you got some cargo tie down locations on each side over here. You hear that uh, adaptive ride height um, blowing the air out. Beautiful look on this Denali Ultimate. Has just about everything you can imagine. Now that is our 2024 GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. If you have any more questions about this beautiful SUV, don't hesitate to give me a call. 802-776-5000 and ask for calling. Or you can stop by for a test drive at 65 Windcrest Road in Rutland, Vermont. And you have a great day.